The 11.2 km long dry creek option would connect to the Hume Freeway just north of the existing Wandong interchange. A new overpass and ramps would provide free flowing access to and from the freeway. The new road would pass south of the Dean and be elevated above the Wandong Live Steamers Model Railway and Dry Creek. It would then continue in a northerly direction along the east side of Dry Creek and to the western edge of the Blue Gum Tree Plantation. By keeping to the east of the rail line, the bypass avoids native vegetation and rural properties along O'Grady's Road. Staying clear of the Dry Creek floodplain, the new road minimises any changes to flood levels. Extensive bridging is required to cross Dry Creek a number of times. Approaching Kilmore East, the top of Monument Hill can be seen on the far left side. Having the bypass on the east side of the railway keeps it away from the Kilmore East hamlet. Connection to Sunday Creek Road would provide access for Kilmore East residents and the quarries. The 500 metre long bridge would provide more than 7 metres of clearance for rail freight. The bypass would cross the Melbourne-Sydney rail line, Sunday Creek Road and Dry Creek, just north of Kilmore East Rail Station. The Kilmore East hamlet can be seen to the south of the bypass. After crossing the rail line, the bypass would pass to the north of Kilmore East Road, which would be retained in its current role as a local road for travel between Kilmore East and Kilmore. The bypass continues west along the existing gully to minimise earthworks. It would then pass through the old tip site and would be in a deep cut as it crosses Trainers Drive. The option would pass through the southern edge of the equine precinct, avoiding the high density residential areas and use cleared land where possible. Intersection connections would provide an access to Kelly's Lane. A shared pathway over the new road would allow pedestrians, cyclists and horse traffic to cross safely. Near Costello's Road, the bypass would connect to the Northern Highway with a large roundabout that provides safe and efficient movement for all vehicles, particularly large trucks. The bypass would then continue on the existing Northern Highway before connecting to a further roundabout at the intersection of the Northern Highway and the Broadford-Kilmore Road. 